Zoe has this tremendous love. There's just so much that she wants to give. She's a girl that's just so loving as well as lovable. Carmel is, to her, her best buddy, her best friend. So it's like this beautiful little team. It was a life-changing event in our lives, meeting Carmel for the first time. There was never any other question about it. Carmel was the dog, and and we've had her with us ever since. <laughs> Carmel chose Zoe very clearly, um, and I think it, it may have taken about 30 seconds of Carmel's cooing and rubbing up against Zoe for Zoe to be completely in love. Carmel ran up to her, and, and Zoe threw her arms around her, and that was it. It was a beautiful moment because I knew too, you know, it was one of those, when I saw Carmel, I knew that was Zoe's dog. You know, it was, it was really a precious greeting and um, coming together. And, and I remember thinking, you know, they're so much alike. All of Zoe's life centers around Carmel. First thing in the morning when she wakes up, it's greeting Carmel. Last thing before she goes to bed at night, it's saying goodnight to Carmel. Zoe, of course, loves to be outdoors and play and go to parks, and Carmel goes with her. Swinging and um, hanging from the, the trapeze bar, and Zoe's like, look at me, Carmel, look at me, look at what I can do, you know, like a, like a little kid would say to her parent. Um, Zoe says to the dog, so she's showing off for Carmel, and you know, if Carmel could clap, I'm sure she would. <laughs> Precious little Zoe, when she came here last year, is something I don't think I'll ever forget, especially seeing this transformation that we've seen. She was so quiet and very sort of walled off, and, and she didn't make eye contact with anybody, and she really was extremely shy. This year, when she came back, the first thing she did was walk around and introduce herself to everybody. She's talking so much more than she did last year. Uh, she's smiling, she's laughing more. Zoe is a, an outgoing um, little girl, very charming, not afraid to make eye contact with anybody. Zoe's always been a really friendly child, um, but I've noticed that there's like this added dimension of confidence in her since we have had Carmel as part of our family because now she's like, you know, so proud to show off her dog. She's got this ownership of this dog that she has to take care of and um, feeding her, doing things like that, grooming her. All of that has been very helpful because it's something that Zoe has to learn to do for herself. And if she's doing it for a dog, then she's more apt to be able to do it for herself. And someday I want her to be able to live independently. Even though she has Down syndrome, I want her to function and be included in, in the community and have a job and go to college and do all the same things. That's my passion and my dream for her. There's something in Carmel that sees how glorious Zoe is and absolutely adores her. And it really is like she looked at this little girl and saw inside her soul and had this overwhelming need to be almost like her mom. And it is a beautiful thing when you watch it. It's just one of those real things that happens and it's spiritual and it's emotional and it's mental and physical and everything is just this coming together of a dog and a little girl.